Hello everybody, my name is Mr. Craven, and welcome to 5 Random Horror Games. Yeah, this is number 90. That's insane, 90 of these. Yeah. Uh, this first one is one that I recorded a few days ago, uh, but I didn't finish it, and I didn't know what to do with the footage. So I've decided to cut it down into a small little segment and have that be the first game in our Random Horror Games thing today. Um, yeah. So let's cut to that footage right now. And welcome to Zoonomaly. Yeah, this is a horror game that takes place in a just a messed up zoo with some creepy boys. Yeah, like like these guys. Cute. And this guy. Cute. <laughs> yeah. Uh Zoonomaly. You must survive a monster infested zoo while searching for key shards that unlock the truth to its origin. Collect all the key shards by solving puzzles throughout the grounds and put a stop to the monster mayhem. Hell yeah. Let's do it. Uh, how to play. Collect shards. Uh, beacons in the sky will guide you to the shards. Uh, puzzles must be completed to collect each shard. Follow the mushrooms to unlock teleportation. <gasps> Love that. Use your Blumo Bang to defend yourself. Okay. Cool. Uh, boop. Boop. Welcome to your Recruit. Your mission is as follows. The zoo's been taken over by monsters. Damn, big boy. From another dimension called Blue Morta. Our intel suggests the cause of this monster infestation is locked away behind a massive facility door within the zoo. Someone has broken the key to this door into 20 shards and hid them all around the zoo. It's your job to recover all 20 shards, reassemble the key, and stop whatever is causing... Okay. Whoever hid the key shards did not make them easy to find. They have altered the zoo significantly by building large structures that puzzle the mind, making it harder to recover the shards. The Blumo Bang we supplied you uh, will be an invaluable tool for your defense and exploration. Its powerful blast of light can deter monsters and push any physical objects away. The Bloom Spectrum screen okay, will allow you to see the invisible radiation given off by anything from Blue Morta. You will find it uh, to be helpful in your mission. Good luck. Damn, that was some fast-ass text. Find a lay bulb for your Blumo Bang. Okay. Gotta adjust sensitivity. Yeah, that's good. I can take these. Ah, sick. Love that. Neat. Okay. Ah! Love that. Hey, buddy. Damn, you goopy. It's like, it's like those uh old timey flash bulbs. Uh, I always see videos. I saw videos of, or like in movies, of like paparazzi taking pictures of like the old starlets, and like every time they hit a flash, they have to eject the bulb, and so there's all over the ground. Okay, uh, use your Bloom Spectrum, uh, to find the lever that opens the gate, okay? Here we go. Sick. Wait, can I leave? Always gotta check see if we can leave. No. Love it. Are there more bulbs back here? Little secrets. Okay, yoink. Yoink. Open the last two gates uh, to enter the zoo and find the shards. Got it. Okay, so this says I can repel objects with this. Sick. Yeah. I think this was made in the Unreal Engine. I've been playing so many indie horror games that are from, uh... How do I do this? There's two X's. Yeah, they're made in Unity or Godot these days.
Okay, so... Bonk. And then... Whoa! <laughs> Love that. That is very fun. Cool. I guess we're ready to enter the zoo. Yeah, a lot of people are uh, are really excited for Zucosis. Zuchosis? Zucosis? Uh, it's like a animal body horror game. Ooh, that's chunky. Maybe it'll fix once I get in a little bit. Here are my children. Ooh, yeah, here, let me play around with this for a second. Okay, there we go. Yeah, uh, so this this game was highly recommended once. Oop. There we go. When the trailer for Zucosis came out. A lot of people recommended I check this game out, too. Uh, let me construct my sanctuary. No. My sanctuary. Stay away. No. Okay, so I'm already full on bulbs. So I can actually drop bulbs too. Here my children live. Uh, that is a big boy. That's, that's a huge bitch. You were killed by a monster. Yeah, I was. Why did it? Okay, so they're, they're little safe zones. Got it. Everything's just so happy and smiley. I don't want to kill these things. They're cute. So where am I? Okay, so this was the entrance. Let's go... Let's go back. Can they get me? The fuck are you? Here's the little guy. Okay, so this is the giant gate I'm trying to open. Got it. Okay. Damn, there, so there are beams of light everywhere. This is the closest one. Huh. So it shows there's a mushroom there, but you can't do anything. This is the safe zone. That one's huge. Big boy. Is that a cow? Love. Oh, okay, so I gotta... Whoa! Um... Where's the actual shard here? Oh, I see. I see, I see, I see. Okay. So I actually need to go back. <laughs> I want to jump on his head. Alright, so I gotta get back to the safe zone. I also need to find more light bulbs. 
Oh, hello. Little stinkies. Stinkers. Okay. No, let's not do that. Okay. They don't seem that aggressive. These guys seem fine. We'll stand here. And it should should throw me over this way. That's that's fun. Yeah, 120 shard. Love it. Go. So I wonder if I can eventually use up. Big fuck is over there. I wonder if I can eventually use up all the light bulbs in this area. Braces? Or just some crusty teeth? Brush your teeth. Okay. So I have three bulbs. Let's go and get. One more. Then we'll go into this little pen. Okay. Damn, it's way up there. Yoink. Um. Start looking around. I think I need to knock this down. And it would have launched me over. Ugh. Okay, that doesn't work. Interesting. I wonder how I'm supposed to do this. map this out. Okay, so this goes down over to there. That goes down to nothing. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, hold on. I have an idea. Yeah, let's knock these down. There we go. Oh. Oh. That's... There we go. The shard's right there. So I wonder if I can drop... Oh boy. Oh boy, this seems wrong, but I'll do it anyways. Huh? That's gonna launch me, so let's not do that.
Huh. Actually shows an invisible walkway right here. Weird. <gasps> Sick. Okay. Oh, I hope this works. I hope this works. I hope this works. Okay, so I, I actually need to go down and get more light bulbs now. Hmm. All right. Yeah, let's do a quick cut. Am I doing it? I think I did it. Okay, so I got a hut. Huh. And then, huh. Yeah! Sick. So, there are invisible platforms I can use to help get around. Let's get out of there! Sick. This is cute. I like this. I wish the music would change a little bit. So right now it's just like the same kind of it sounds like just guitar strings scratching are these monkeys bitch bitch Oh, you're huge. Hi. Love. Love these. All right, let's try this. Oh, God, this is going to suck. Oh. Fuck off. Okay, so they can... Ooh, bu -bu 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 -bu. Boy, you better back up with your stinky ass breath. Okay, so... They can get up there to get me. Okay. No! Fuck! How am I supposed to do this? Fuck off, bro. Get away. I'll do that one later. I gotta get some distance between me and that dickhead. Okay. The monkey one is gonna be a problem. I wonder if I can get like an upgrade to like make the stun last longer. But also, good to know that these bulbs respawn. So, I don't have to worry about using up all the flash bulbs. Love. Cute. Okay, so this one is... Just in here somewhere. Alright. Fuck off, bro. Bubble, 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 bubble. Hey. Okay. 
So I can knock this down. And I'll shoot me up there. Okay. Oh, please don't launch me over. Whee! Second. Oh, no. Okay. Can I make this jump? Yes! Okay, sick. Oh my god. Is there fall damage? Is th Okay, let's, let's, let's test. There is a little bit of fall damage, but I was able to survive. Perfect. Oh god. Tall ass, lanky piece of shit. So this is the entrance. So I'm right here, so I need to go around this way. Oh boy. Is there... Is there one back here? What is this? I don't see... Sorry, I don't see a, a light shaft for a shard back here. Oh, invisible wall. I wonder if this is in case like I fell out of one of the one of the pens, like over here. What is this? Safe zone? Safe from what? Weird. Okay, yeah, I guess I'll just head back towards the actual park and keep looking. Yeah, I wonder if I could have been launched out into the woods. Oh boy. Oh no, I can't get back over. Alright. Damn. I if I can wedge myself in between. Nope. Shucks. What? Monkeys? Oh no, is this another monkey exhibit? I feel like the monkeys are gonna be the hardest one to get around. All right, I will cut to me doing something. So there's the light thing. So I gotta figure out how to get over there. Yoink. Hey, what's above me? Oh boy. Oh boy. This one is confusing. So I feel like I need to get over there and have it launch me over here. Oh 
Oh boy. Okay. That felt weird. Okay. Stand right there. Uh, okay. Maybe I was supposed to go towards the middle one instead. Or I can just maybe like drop down. Yeah, so let's try going to the middle. Yeah, this one. How did I end up on the other side of the board? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Don't. Don't. No. 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 Fuck. Huh. Maybe if I stick to this side and go around? Yes! There we go. Okay. Yes, my goal is to land in that middle part. There we go. So crouching while I do it is actually very effective. Got it. Oh, I'm so close. I'm so close yet so far. Everybody. I've been working on this puzzle for 45 minutes. I don't think I'm going to be able to beat this game. Uh, because if this is the entire gameplay, is just little puzzles like this, I can tell I'm not going to enjoy it. I thought it was something different. Not entirely sure what I thought it was going to be, but definitely not just jump puzzles over and over. That just does not speak to me. Oh my god. Let's go ahead and get rid of that. Pick that up. Yeah. I'm going to try different 
I'm gonna try different puzzles, and then once I do a few, I'll just end the video. But yeah, just doing nothing but jump puzzles does not speak to me. Hmm. So where's the shard in this one? Okay, so there's an invisible thing right here. Okay, there it is. Noisy as fuck. Okay, so I actually need to get over there. Go across an invisible platform, then up. Okay, so let's go and drop. Yeah, I worked on that one with the monkey for a very long time. Like, way longer than I should have. I should have just left as soon as I couldn't figure it out in the first couple minutes. God, these things are noisy. Oh my God. I really hate being negative in a in videos. I really hate it. Not not a fan of people who just they're just like overly negative about video games. Just like if you don't like it, stop playing. But this just is not speaking to me. But it, and it was so highly requested that I want to give it some time. Okay, that's where I went. And I couldn't go anywhere. And then this doesn't go anywhere. Although it does look like there's an invisible... Hold on, let's... Let's go over here. It looks like there's an invisible thing I can go on. Yeah, right here. So let's... Huh? Huh? Uh, just didn't quite gel with that game. Didn't didn't really enjoy it. So I decided to stop. Uh, I know some people are really into it and really wanted me to play it. Just not my kind of gameplay mechanic. Uh, it's a little bit too janky. So I decided to stop. I, I played it for about like an hour and 45 minutes. And cut all that down into what? 10, 15 minutes? <laughs> yeah, just not my kind of game. Uh, I'm looking more forward to Zucosis. I feel like that's going to be really nail the whole fucked up zoo idea. But yeah, anyways, uh, this one is called uh, Pig Face, the combat demo. Uh, the full game is coming out eventually, uh, but this is the combat demo for it. Your luck ran out this time, old girl. I think that's all they really tell you about it. So yeah, thought I would check this out. I liked the aesthetic of it. realize there's a dude smoking down there. Hey. Uh, WASD to move. Q and E to lean left and right. Damn. That tactical lean. F is interact with glowing objects. T is torch. Okay. Uh, G is to drop a held weapon. Got it. Okay. I think I can do that. Okay, so I, I'm assuming that we're, like, we get abducted. Oh, 
My name is unimportant to you right now, and I'll spare you a lengthy speech. Thank you so much. But I will tell you that you have a bomb collar around your neck. A bomb collar that I will detonate if I feel you're stepping out of line. You know what you did to deserve this, that it was only a matter of time. In a moment, the door to my right will open. You'll make your way through our little test. It's my hope that you can follow instructions properly. We can make something out of this if you can cooperate. We'll talk soon. Okay, Jigsaw. Let's see. Tessa. Ooh, that, that's a nice lean. That feels good. T for torch. Love that. I wonder how certain developers end up with like F for interact rather than E. I guess, well, I guess if Q and E are leans, then you need to put interact on a different key. Uh, crouch. Hell yeah. This feels good. Beside me is a sledgehammer. And through the door, there are men who want to kill you. I've told each of them they will receive $10,000 if they can put you down. Personally, I don't think they have a fucking chance, but I've been proven wrong before. Don't disappoint me, and good luck. Damn, he has, like, high hopes for us. Oh, this feels good. And that sound effect has a nice thump to it. That feels good. Hi! Bonk! Damn! Shit. Ow. I didn't mean to launch it like that. I wonder if I can use that as, like, a weapon. Right. Uh, sick. Hold on, I wanna try this. Uh, no, I fell down! Uh. Bitch. My five HP, nice. So that actually heals me. Use your flashlight? I already am. I see you. Oh, creepy. You see his head just turned towards me? Well, shit. Well, shit. I was hoping I could take him out that way, but I think I fucked up. No, no, I fucked up. <laughs> Idiot. Get fucked. Okay, where's that hammer? Where's that hammer? Oh shit! Ow! I'm after you start since I I was fucking around too much. Ugh. Idiot! Ow! 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 Shit! Beaten to death with a hammer. Damn. Bonk. Damn it. Idiot. Already got hit, but I know where some healing is. Yeah, I should have seen that this is just a, a fall. Oh, come on. Oh, oh. oh. Idiot. <laughs> I love that shit. Oh, I love that. Oh, the slow head turn. Bonk. Fuck. Imagine somebody just hurling a sledgehammer right in your face. Damn. He is just spread out for me. Bonk. Oh shit. No, no. Hammer, hammer, hammer. Ow. 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 Stop hitting me. There we go. Ow. Where'd you come from? You made quick work of them. I didn't really doubt you for a second. 
through this door, there's a shooting range. You can practice for as long as you want. There's ammo crates and morphine injectors in case you're hurt. After that, there's a combat test. Got it. I'll be waiting for you at the end. Okay, note to self. I need to stop chucking the hammer in case there's multiple dudes. Oh, yeah, morphine. I'm guessing that's the ammo. Damn. Okay. What else we got? Let's try you. Ooh. Okay. Nice little silence pistol. Ooh, I don't like this one. Oh, this one has a scope though. What else we got? There's some rifles. Ooh. The sound effects on this are really good. We have hammer, wrench, ooh, shotgun. Oh, chunky. Chunky. That sounds good. Okay, um, I guess let's go forward. Okay, so there's some morphine and all the guns. Ooh, is this a silenced shotgun? Really? And as a scope, oh my god. Get fucked. Damn. Whoop. Chunky, I love that shit. The lean behind the walls is sick. I, I rarely do that in games too, but this feels like, it feels natural, it feels good. And the laser on it is really helping with the aiming as well. Okay. No way above me. Ow! No! As soon as one guy starts hitting at me, I'm like, ah, panic! Cute little chicken. Hey, 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 hey. What? There? Damn, sniping out with a shotgun. I feel like the shotgun's range needs to be nerfed a little bit. Ow, 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 ow. Oh shit! Ah! <laughs> Fuck! No! Alright, let me get back to where I was. Okay. There's the boy up here. Hello. Oh, I guess I just clipped him. Bam. Um, uh, ring low on ammo, so let's go and swap out. 
Hello? Oof. That spray. I'm spraying and praying. Okay. Surprised there's not a dude hiding back here for me. Hello? That was interesting. Oh, fuck. Come on. Fuck off. Fuck off. Damn. Okay. Nobody around there. There's a boy right there. Idiots. Did a spark fly because I shot his weapon? That is a... If so, that's a really nice touch. Okay. Let's go ahead and swap. I was like... Oh, is that how long I've been running through this for? Okay, so that's where I shot him. Okay. Well, you're not dead. Yeah! And you made good time. Decidedly, you've done a very good job. Thank you. Myself and my associates all agree that you and I are going to make a lot of money together. I look forward to working with you. This is great. Yeah, that was great. I'm really looking forward to the full game. Uh, that combat felt slick. That was smooth. And like, anytime I died, it's just my own fault because I was just being an idiot. <laughs> like, I didn't feel like it was cheap or, like, unfair or anything. That was... That was good. It reminded me a lot of, uh... Like, how, like, David Zosmanski would do his shooting in his games. That felt really good. Well, cool. Uh, let's go on to the next one. Okay, this next one is called Hysteria. Yeah. Uh, boop. It is a endless survival horror game where you survive strange creatures in a retro-inspired PS1 experience. Yeah, so endless, I think... You just run around and try to survive for as long as you can. I'm assuming that's what it means. Let's do it. I wish I could make it full screen, but I can't. Well, this is cute. Uh, so you, you walk into the skulls and that takes you to play like the first encounter. Tank controls. Uh, I'm fucked. I'm dead. Okay, so I think that was reload. Also, the audio is incredibly low. Yeah, let me turn this up. All right, I have it maxed out. Uh, so Z is shoot. Got it. So it's it uses WASD, but Z is shoot. Weird. Well, already getting fucked up. No. Oh shit. Uh. Ow. Already getting fucked. Oh my god. I am. I'm. I'm fucked. Already dead. Also, the audio is incredibly low. I'm gonna have to like turn this way up in the recording. You are dead. Let's try that again. I'm going to give this another shot. What are the controls? Like, I wonder if I can use my... Okay, WSD to walk. Z is shoot. 
X is action. C is flashlight. V is heal. But why is it WASD? I can also use the arrows. Ha! Okay. So, I think I, I think I can do this. I can do this. Oh, and it puts me in a different spot, too. Interesting. Okay, so... Pick up ammunition? Yes. Got it. Okay, I can do this. C is flashlight. Okay. Let me look at the controls one more time. What was V? V is heal. Got it. That walking animation is sick. <laughs> Bending my knees? I don't think so. Okay. Would you like to have a cigarette? I mean, in real life, no, but in game, sure. <laughs> I wonder if that's my health. <laughs> yes, damn, I have shit tons of bullets. Okay. <laughs> there I am. Hi. I wish there was a way to reload without having to spend my bullets. Yeah, like the only way to reload is to empty out the entire clip. Alright, All right. let's lead him around the corner. What if they'll even go around the corner if they're just getting stuck on the wall? Because they should be coming out right about now. No. Yeah, there's a gun stuck on the wall. This is cute. This is made for a game jam. So, it was probably made in a very small amount of time. Oh, look at that guy. You stuck, buddy? Ah, I can't even hit you. Come on, reload. What? What the fuck was that? Okay, here we go. Am I back on the game board? <gasps> I am. So, let's go see what this is. I like the idea of being able to choose your own path and that dictates like what you're gonna run into. So I wonder if this is gonna be like a boss fight? Oh my god. Okay. Uh. Oh my god. 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 This thing is this is actually like a creepy enemy design. Having to reload. Oh. Oh, that thing is creepy. Okay. I need the camera to change so I can get a better angle. Oh, 
This is a dead end. We even come down here? Are you stuck? I can't tell if I'm hitting it or not. Oh god. Uh, uh. Yeah, some of these angles. I can't even tell what's happening. What is this? Flamethrower? Come on. Alright, camera. Need you to change. There we go. So it, it uses it once, and you have to wait a little bit. There we go. That's what injures it. Got it. I can do this. It's so weird doing directions with my right hand. Since I'm using the arrow keys. Okay, where'd you go? Come here, bitch. Come here, bitch. Get roasted. I'm just gonna leave it in a circles until I kill it. Camera? <laughs> I need you to change, buddy. Are you stuck again? Oh, yeah. Oh, no. I like, I like the enemy design. I wish the sound was louder. And the camera angles are... They take a while to actually switch over to the next one. There we go. Get fucked. Now, how do I get out of here? Do I just go to the door again? Okay, it's not that one. Yeah, I'm like way off screen and the camera's not changing. There we go. Okay, let's go over here. What's this? Did he drop a key or something? Or is there a key somewhere in the area? I really like fixed camera, like camera angle games, when they're, like, done right. Okay, there's a flashy right here. What are you? Shotgun? Hell yeah. Now, we gotta figure out how we... Looks like there's another door over here. It's another light. Okay, I guess not. Yeah, what am I... What am I looking for? There we go. There was a door up against the wall somewhere. So what is, what is this? Let's call that one. So this, this would actually be a lot of like, the idea is solid. The idea of like being on a big uh, board like that and having like go through different uh, fixed camera angle levels like that is really good.
the sound is so low. It is so incredibly low. Uh, if the controls and the combat could be tightened up a little bit, this would be fantastic. Yeah, I, the idea of this is great. I know it's like a game jam game, so I'm giving it a lot of leeway here. But yeah, this was tightened up a little bit. This would be great. Oh, cool. Uh, let's go and go to the next one. Okay, this next one is called Intruder. You started working from home and bought a new house, far from the city. But something seems off about it. Just be cautious and don't believe in fairy tales. This is by Night Games? I think I've played something by them before, possibly? Maybe not. Yeah, for some reason, Night Games sounds really familiar. Uh, cool. Uh, let's do it. Ooh, a beginning. Are there chapters? So it's 18.02. I'm still trying to figure out the 24-hour time system because that's what they use over here a lot. So this is 6.02 after work. Uh, oh, close. There we go. Gotta change the sensitivity. There we go. I'll go downstairs and eat something. Okay, spaces get up. Diary. Uh, this is March 1st. So if it's made the UK, it'd be day, month. Yes. Because we, in the, in the US, we do month, day, year. They do day, month, year. I believe. Yeah, hopefully I'm explaining that right. Finally bought a house. It was rather cheap. I am very lucky. The realtor was also very nice. It was a bit far from the city, but this won't be a problem since I work from home now. Sick, good for you. I know a lot of companies are cracking down on that because the commercial real estate market is tanking. Which I say good. Let it. I uh, can't turn some of these lights on. Okay. Can I piss? Damn it. No piss mechanic. Worst game ever. <gasps> Eats up. That looks good as fuck. Looks like pepperoni and jalapeno. That's literally my favorite. Uh, wait, where am I taking this? To-do list. Settle in the new house. Done. Buy milk and rice. Meet the neighbors. Got it. Okay. Maybe I'm just gonna watch TV. Uh. Yeah, I'd not see what it wanted me to do. Microwave? Plates. Eat it outside. Eat it in the closet. Oh, there we go. I right click. Okay. I just put this in the trash can. Okay. Not this one? Oh, okay. There we go. I had to, I had to press Q to throw it. Some weird controls in this. Hello, who is phone? Hello? Who are you? Rude? Hi. Hello. I heard that you moved into this house. Welcome to our neighborhood. Like that, uh, AI voice. Uh, yes, that's right. Thank you. I'm very happy that this house is occupied again, after the last owner went missing. Last owner went missing? Oh, you didn't know. He went missing after saying he kept hearing noises and weird things were happening inside the house. Is that so? He thought that the house was haunted or something. I'm sure he was just joking. Ha ha. Ha ha. Anyways, welcome again. Here's a gift for you. Bye. Thanks, bye. Uh, put this on the dinner table, okay? Uh, Q? There we go. 
<laughs> All right, now it's time to go food shopping. Got it. Okay. Oh wait, do I go out the front door? I guess so. Okay, so I can't go out the back door. Uh. Oh, I'm just walking to the store. That is the nice thing about uh, living in the UK so far, because it everything is very walkable for me. Food shopping. Let's do it. I should first throw the trash away. Wait, what? The trash container was in the back of the market. What's up, you Ned? You bam? Uh, take my trash. Okay, throw that away. Door is locked. Okay, we can't go up that way. No! Fucking dickhead. Hi! Hey man, you got some money. I'm hungry. There you go. Uh, thanks. You must be the new guy who moved into the haunted house, no? How do you know that? This is a small town after all. But be careful and don't trust anyone. Also, don't believe in fairy tales. Okay, also, where's your accent? See you around. I guess it'd be like asking me in Scotland, where's my Scottish accent? So, alright, well... Later, dude. Thanks for scaring the absolute shit out of me. Appreciate it, bud. Uh... I should get some milk and rice, okay? I feel like I've seen this exact layout, convenience store, numerous times in horror games recently. Like, there's a restroom right here. Yep. Interesting. I don't mind. It's just, I've seen it a lot recently. Um, alright. Getting milk and rice? I saw the cursor pop up for a brief second. There it is. Okay, there's milk and rice. Yeah, I played a horror game where I, I drank coffee to death. <laughs> Welcome. Let me know if you need anything. Milk is on the shelf to my left. And the rice is on the shelf right opposite it. They are the only 3D ones, so shouldn't be too hard to spot. Pick them up and wall. throw them right in front of me on the counter. You. You're done shopping? Yes, that's all. Okay, then. You're new on this neighborhood, right? That's right. I bought a house. Ah, uh, I see. You bought that famous house. Just don't be scared if you hear or see things, haha. Huh? Here's your package. Come again. Thanks, big head Ned. Fucking... Big brain looking motherfucker. Doors locked. All right. All right. I guess we're back home with our milk and rice. Forest. Is that spelled right? If you're looking at a word and you're like, you get, it just looks like it's not right. Where is this? Where am I? I just keep moving. There's a slight sprint I can do. Looks like there's something up ahead. Hello? I'm lost. Here, I'll, I'll signal them. Three forty-three, night. I guess I got a bad dream. Just, a, just a bad dream. Oh, what was that sound? I should go check it out. Should you? I'll stay in bed. They can join me.
Uh, all these look like they're reversed. Like that looks like coffee or something, and then this looks like Italy. <laughs> Have you all ever been to Italy before? So am I taking a shit in my toilet? No. Am I in my office? No. What the hell is this? Better turn off the flashlight? What? I need to get, get the shovel from the garage? Why? What, what the hell is what? And why do I need the, the shovel? Oh. You got caught. Try again. Was somebody in there? I just didn't see him. I'm, I'm so confused what just happened to me. Just a bad dream. Uh-oh. There we go. I thought I broke the sequence. Oh, somebody's right there. I see him now. Now, should I hit him from behind? Big head. Bonk! Was it the big head convenience store clerk? The police came and arrested the intruder. Turns out it was the general store owner. I could tell because of the noggin. The neighbor and the realtor was also part of the scheme. They would make the house look like it's haunted and buy it for a cheap price, then sell it back for a higher price and make a profit. They were all arrested, and I moved back to the city. What? <laughs> Where'd that come from? Thanks for playing Game by Night Games. Cute. Yeah, like, I could tell it was the convenience store clerk because of his massive dome. Cool. Uh, I guess let's head on to the last one. Okay, this one's called Fish and Chat. Yeah. Uh, this was actually recommended that I check it out. So, thank you so much for leaving that suggestion. Uh, Fish and Chat. Welcome to Fish and Chat. <laughs> Feel free to take things easy and relax on the wide open lake in this low poly and 90s chat room style horror game. Chat with the locals, explore the peaceful lake, and aim to catch the massive fish everyone keeps talking about. What was that noise? Sick. Uh, oop. Make sure this didn't fuck up my green screen. Okay, uh, select map. Quiet lake. Let's do it. There's actually a few different fishing war games coming out soon. I'm really excited for. Hey, I have zero friends online. I have zero friends in real life as well. Let's go talk to this guy. That's fucking random. Hello. Have you heard the rumors? Everyone is saying one of the corners of this lake has a massive fish. Oh, cool. Is that it? All right, bye. See ya. There's an exclamation mark over there. Arrow that way with a fish on it. I want to see if there's anything else around. Eh. All right, fuck it. Let's go see what this is all about. Plop. I am, I am. You caught a fish. Cute. That's pretty normal looking. King salmon. 127 centimeters? Is that big? 
Fun fact, king salmon are not only the largest breed of salmon, they are also carnivorous. I didn't know that. Cool. Um, let's go head on to the next location. I'll see if find some more buddies to talk to. Damn. So, also I've noticed recently that some games uh, where if you hit W and A or W and D at the same time, you go zoom in. Yeah, I haven't seen anybody else to chat with yet. Get a little house up there. Yeah, like this. That's so much faster. <laughs> it says fish this way. Let's do it. Heard a humming sound. Bloop. Caught a fish. Cute. Uh, what is this? Lily bass. 90 centimeters. Bass commonly are allergic to honey and other bee related products. Okay, what? I heard some, I heard a buzzing earlier. Was that a hint? Hello. Any bats today? You see a dude in a green boat, can you tell him he still owes me like five bucks? Okay. Yeah. For sure, my man. Uh, here, let's... There's that way. Let's go right across this way. You can find the green boat guy. Get five bucks, but not give it back. Oh, there's this fishing spot like right in the middle. Okay. You caught a fish. Uh-huh. It's a rainbow trout. 13 centimeters. So that's kind of small. Rainbow trout are often slightly larger than uh, large rocks the size of small rock. What? Rainbow trout are often slightly larger than large rocks the size of small rocks? Is that what it said? <laughs> My brain. That cooked me. Okay, here's the other shore. Yeah, so I think that's kind of where I started. So let's head this way. Let me find another dude. Here's a sign. Yeah, it says fish back this way. I wonder if this is the corner it's talking about with the the big fish. Here we go. Let's swing it around. Bloop. You caught a fish. Is this a, a catfish or a carp? Catfish. The body was discovered at th around 3 p.m. with un unidentifiable, unidentifiable bite marks. Think. Fuck. I stuttered and stammered so much I couldn't finish reading that. Okay. <clears throat> the body was discovered around 3 p.m. with unidentifiable bite marks being discovered across the victim's remains. Multiple limbs remain unable to be found. Damn. Yeah, that caught me off guard so much. I was just like. Bleh, 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 bleh. 
Hello. Buddy of mine logged off after catching a fish the other day and hasn't been back since. That's right. We're in a... This is like a video game. Weird. So it says fish this way. Did I already catch that one? I think this one's pointing me out towards the middle of the lake. I'm going to stick to the shore for now. See if I can find more people to chat with. I need friends. Here's a little boat. Oh. Hello. Come chat with me. Chat with me. No. Be my friend. Dickhead. Alright. I think this is the way towards the one I found in the middle of the lake. So I guess let's go over here. Kind of just I'm sailing around. Hello. I heard some bees. Were you, oh, were you the one that wouldn't talk to me? Yeah, you are. Got it. Asshole. I wonder if they're like AFK or something. There's that little pier with the boat. Got it. I'm on the right course, I believe. There's a sign. Oh, here's a dude. Hey, buddy. Can you see him in the middle of something? Find someone else to bother. Well, fuck you. Rude, rude, rude. Bloop. Caught a fish. I'm not sure what kind of fish that is. A rock fish. Despite their name, these fish only include a few types of rocks in their diet. <laughs> okay. Alright. Um, let's head back out this way. Towards the shore. Uh, oh, there it is. I'm trying to keep the shore within eyesight. It says fish back that way, but let's go back here. Yellow! Ugh. Another jerk won't talk to me. I wonder. Oh, I, this might be the very beginning. I think it is. Okay. So let's head straight this way. Now, it said there's a corner somewhere with a big old fish. This is the guy who wants us to get him five bucks. Yeah, it says fish out this way.
Hello. I've only been fishing a few times in my life. I was born and raised in the country, and fishing was very popular amongst uh, the locals. A place called Beaver Lake. Oh, here we go. I find it incredibly boring. Nope. You caught a fish. Is that a barracuda? A sturgeon. It said that ancient civilizations re revered sturgeons as symbols of wisdom and longevity, often incorporating them into folklore. Really? Why? Also, who are you? Are you the green boat guy? Can you tell that dude in the red boat I don't owe him shit? Damn. Tell him yourself. Okay. We've been going forward for quite a while. Where's this large fish at? What was the thing about the body was found? Blah, 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 blah. I thought I saw blood for a second. Hello. Make sure to catch a lot of fish before going this way. You'll need the practice. Hell yeah. What's back here? I've caught quite a few. Found one. Is this it? You caught a fish. It's a normal fish. It's a bass. Common carp. Please don't disturb the lake. It something something. It can see you or hmm. I feel like I'm getting closer. This one's next to an overturned boat. This has to be it. It's presumed the victim was dismembered by a large predatory animal, lining up with recent rumors of the area of a leviathan-sized creature lurking in the lake. No such creature has been sighted, however. Cute. Cute. Alright, let's find this big ol' fuck. There's a whistling back there. Hi. Please don't. And he's looked at me. Okay. Here's another one.
the audio is getting all weird. You pulled up a... Uh... A bathtub drain? Yeah, drainage plug. Oh god, no. Map is a question mark. I have one friend nearby. Here's my boat. Ah, oh, fuck. So did I, get, did I get sucked into this cave below the lake? Where's my nearby friend? Hello? No. Kitty? Is it a cat? Friend? I think that's the end. That's fishing chat. Very cute. I like that. That was a, that was a slow burn, but I liked it. I had a the finding out about like dead people in the lake, and then like falling into like a subterranean lair. Very cool. Oh, cool. That was five random horror games. Hope you enjoyed. Um, yeah. If you have any recommendations for games to check out, please let me know. Uh, leave a like. It really helps. And yeah, uh, me and my partner are going to are going to start the Dark Anthology series uh, once we get back from a little vacation thing that we have planned. Uh, that's going to be posted on Patreon. You can check that out for as low as $1 a month and some other exclusive content. Yeah. Well, cool. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.